Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. Welcome to another edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs, this time on Monday. And the first bit of news comes from the Evening Standard. They say that we are interested in signing in January the Ebbs Fleet striker Shiloh Tracy. Now, I know what you're thinking, I've never heard of this guy. And to be honest, even if you're an Ebbs Fleet fan, you might not have heard of this guy either because he's never played for their first team. However, our scouts are showing just how far and wide they travel to find the next best talent. And he is coming on trial for us and he played just this week in the IMG Cup for us in Florida. Uh, he's a striker, he's young, he's raw, he's quick, he's got potential. Also apparently interesting Stoke and West Ham, which to be honest worries me a little bit because I like to think that the players we go for are a cut above the likes of Stoke or West Ham. Although, let's face it, they've unearthed a few beauties in their time as well. They're talking about Dimitri Payet and Yaman Shakiri at Stoke, to name just a couple. What about Bojan, another good player? Anyway, so this kid sounds like he's got potential. It sounds to me like a possible Paul Mitchell signing in his little black book. Let's see if it's going to happen. It's being talked about in the standard that it might happen in January. Let's see what happens with that. Second bit of news today, the French show Telefoot, which I know that you're all avid watchers of, have said that we've put in a bid of £30 million for Riyad Mahrez of Leicester. According to Telefoot, it's not just us, Manchester United are in for him as well. Now, what do I think about this one? Sounds too pricey to me. For a January signing, firstly, Leicester won't let him go for that when they're top of the league. And they've got to go for it, let's face it. But £30 million for a player, he is good, don't get it wrong. Great finisher, obviously he ruined Jan Vertonghen earlier in the season up there uh, when we played and drew one all and scored that belter into the top right-hand corner, uh, top left-hand corner, sorry. But will it happen? It doesn't really seem like it's one of ours. I don't know, I think we'll be going for players of the kind of 10 to 15 million mark with, uh, you know, who are younger, with potential sell-on values. But let me know if you think differently in the comments section below. Don't get me wrong, I think it would be a good signing, just can't see it happening. Final bit of news, I'm sure you've heard this. Over the weekend, Clinton and G had knee surgery to sort out a knee ligament issue that he picked up in the Monaco game the other week. Sad news, obviously, because Clinton, he hasn't had much of a chance to impress. He looks raw and talented when he comes on the field, but if you're not going to get kind of five, six, seven games in a row, it's really hard to show what you can do, and Clinton hasn't done that. Now he's going to be out for a couple of months minimum, and it's going to get people talking, isn't it, about how Spurs don't have enough striking power in depth. Obviously now we're only looking at, realistically, behind Harry Kane, uh, Hung Min Son, I think it's fair to say, isn't an out and out striker. Josh Onoma, people have talked about as potentially playing up front, but he's clearly one for behind the front man. So, are we going to invest in January in a proper striker? I just don't know who those players are. I really like uh, your man uh, Igalo at Watford, but are we going to be able to afford to buy him? Are we going to go for him? Unlikely. I like Troy Deeney as well, but it just seems unlikely. Anyway, guys, why don't you write in the comment section below who you'd like us to go for in January as backup to Harry Kane. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Moussa Dembele was absolutely outstanding in there. Can't talk highly enough about how brilliant he was and how much we 